We are at Generous Coffee in your hometown of Warsaw, Indiana. Tell me a little bit about it. You know, so I, I am from Warsaw. Uh, Warsaw is a place I've always considered home, even though I live in Denver now. And for Generous Coffee started in 2017 with this idea that we could build a for-profit business. We call ourselves for profits uh, because we donate 100% of our profits to them. So it's a passion project for me uh, and my partner, Tyler. We, um, we don't get paid from this. Uh, this is a for-profit business built so the bigger we get, the more we can donate. And we're best known for our coffee. So today we're opening up our roastery. Uh, just right here behind us, we have our coffee roaster. Uh, we're going to be roasting coffee out of here. We're going to be packaging, fulfilling. And then it's also open to the public. Come in to learn about coffee. We're to sit on the couch that we're sitting on right now and just work and hang out. Uh, it is a space dedicated to the public that's trying to do good and highlight incredible nonprofits around the world. Yeah, since 2017, we've been able to donate to over 20 nonprofits and over $200,000. So, um, what it will go into in the future, I have no idea. I'm building hundreds of nonprofits, thousands of nonprofits, millions of dollars. Um, this You can view Jitters like a fundraising engine. It's just uh, an ability for uh, for nonprofits to not only tell their story through a coffee bag, but through our bag, but also to get funds from them as well. And so my hope is in the 100 years that Jitters will exist, we have so many incredible stories and millions of dollars donated um, you know, from these organizations. I am the shop girl. I help package and ship the coffee out of our space. And now that we have a storefront, I'll help run the storefront and welcome people in, help them get a cup of coffee just to connect and be here for the community. Once the space was coming together, the white walls were beautiful, helped brighten up the place, but it just lacked some like warmth. And like we need some like character, a meaning. So we started brainstorming, me and two other girls, and we came up with this. And we thought that it kind of, the colors and um, shapes kind of give a Central American vibe, which is where all our coffee comes from. So we thought that really kind of honored the farmers, as well as there's hidden components in there of just a coffee theme. So we were like, we put in the coffee beans, and then we thought this kind of be a coffee plant. This, uh, uh, like wheel kind of reminded us of the spinner that rotates the beans as they're roasting. We got a hidden coffee cup with some steam, and then at the top, that brown piece kind of looked like the top of our roaster. So you're kind of like tying in some like hidden coffee roastery components, yet the meaning colors kind of reminded us of our farmers. So hopefully, it's a meaningful like character piece that just kind of welcomes people in because it's the first thing you see. So we're excited about it. We reached out to our school system in the Warsaw schools and just ask them if some of their students might want to help decorate our walls. So we kind of gave them just guidelines of who we are as generous and what we do. And we had eight students kind of just submit their art as to be on our walls, but then we chose one to be on a coffee bag. So we have a junior high schooler who just, um, their design got chosen to be on a future coffee bag. And there will be a QR code on the back of the bag that just points to the four local nonprofits that all the profits from the coffee is going to. What is it like to bring this to your hometown? Uh, surreal. Yeah. That's really weird. I was actually, I was in here last night. We were kind of sitting up and I was walking through and I was like, it's so wild to me. Um, because I think no matter how old you get, we always still feel like kids. Um, it's so wild to me to be in a building that now I own in my hometown that has, has signage on it from a brand that so many of us have built, but that I've been a part of since the beginning. Uh, and now the public, these people that I grew up, you know, learning from, also my friends who like parents who really use this space, um, that's something that's so incredible. I'm so excited for it. And I think... Um, I'd almost get nostalgic about it if it wasn't a brand I was so excited about. And I just believe Warsaw is about, like, giving back, caring to people. And, uh, I think Warsaw was coffee. Um, and so uh, I'm really excited, too, to just have this in a place that I love so much. That's amazing. And it's really incredible that you are telling people, like, don't stop going to the coffee shops around town. Like, bring your coffee here. Yeah, so this isn't a coffee shop. Right. We're very clear about that. We want people to go and celebrate the coffee shops that already exist. For our, our, you know, it would be ungenerous of us to come into a community 
TV and say, hey, uh, these things exist, we're going to do it too, and we're going to take out your business. No, so what we said is there's a niche in this town for coffee roasters to learn about coffee. There's also uh, a lack in this town of places to gather and meet and just hang out and use Wi-Fi, right? I mean, not no matter who you are, if you're the mayor of the city, um, if you're just like a nighttime employee who just needs a place to come hang out for a few hours, come and go back to sleep at night, um, maybe you're somebody that's coming into jail. Uh, who, you know, we have a counseling center in front that's going to do transitional counseling and help and rehab. Um, no matter who you are, we want a place for people to come hang out, gather, work, talk, bring coffee from other places in, sit in here. Um, we want to celebrate that. And then the river coffee shop just down the street from here is going to be serving generous coffee. So you can go get the drink at the river and bring it down to our roaster. That is so cool. The freshest coffee.